Hello everybody! We are back with another huge Smash Remix update. Today we'll be discussing patch 1.1.0. This new patch adds a ton of new features as usual, so we'll be going through them all just like last time. I'll be reading down the patch notes and discussing as we go. First, probably the thing everyone will notice immediately is that a new character has been added, and it's Sonic. That's right, we got Sonic. Sonic has been added with a unique classic Sonic costume. So this is unique in that it's not just a new costume, it's a new character model. If you look at all the other characters when you change costumes, it just changes the color of everything that's already present, right? Well here, you have the modern Sonic model with like the longer hair and everything. And then when you change to the classic Sonic costume, it doesn't just change colors, it changes the model. So this is really cool. So that really means that Sonic has a ton of new costumes. We'll take a look at some of Sonic's moves here. Um, a lot of them serve to kind of combo off stage into a forward air, which spikes. Uh, but his up air is pretty strong. It has two hits. The first hit is a little weak. Uh, can be used to combo. Um, his specials are pretty interesting. So neutral is the homing attack, which works pretty well for the, the homing aspect of it. The hitbox though is pretty bad. And so it will lose to most other attacks. Uh, the down special, the spin dash can be charged. Uh, it's a multi hit that you can jump out of. If you use it in the air, it'll, it'll release when you land. Uh, so this can be used to extend combos as an approach. Uh, all sorts of things. If you release down while in the air, it'll cancel the ability. And then lastly, up special is the spring attack, which is more of an escape than an attack, um, since the move doesn't actually have a hitbox, it's only the spring. And the spring only has a hitbox when it's falling. So actually, if you use it while on the ground, the move will have no hitbox at all. Uh, another unique aspect of the up special is that you can attack out of it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, his back air, another good combo tool and spacing tool. And then dash attack. Nothing to write home about. It's decent. Throws are throws. A lot of his game will focus on using weak attacks and up tilt into forward air off stage, stuff like that. Along with Sonic and Classic Sonic, we also got Super Sonic. Super Sonic is a new boss character. Uh, he appears in the one player mode towards the end, like where Mad Piano does. Um, also has stronger attributes than regular Sonic. Uh, moves a lot faster, faster airspeed. I think some moves come out faster, some moves are stronger. He even has some silly things like Run has a hitbox, kind of like Mad Piano. Sandbag has been added. Uh, since there's home run contest, we have Sandbag as a character. Uh, you can play him. It looks like you can add him to training mode, but he's not selectable as a character unless you do some, some clever game sharking. Some updates to Bowser. He got a low poly model, which is huge. Uh, if anyone here likes to play Bowser in games with more than two people, uh, so doubles, free-for-all, that kind of stuff. This should help a lot with the uh, performance issues that pop up with Bowser. Another change to Bowser is that his neutral special, the flame, will now slowly recover flame ammo after usage instead of instantly recovering at all. He doesn't have just have an infinite amount, right? You can't just hold it down or, or jump around spamming it. Eventually, it will run out and slowly recharge. Dr. Mario got the volume of his pills reduced. Um, I believe that's the sound volume, not the, you know, amount that the pill holds in medicine. Giga Bowser got the announcer voice updated. Kirby and Japanese Kirby got an issue fixed where Dr. Mario's pill power always had the same palette as the last Dr. Mario pill. I never noticed that. Got some new costumes coming at you. Pikachu got a purple costume. Now this was in a, in a previous playtester patch and it, it ended up getting removed. And uh, some people are sad, but now they can be happy again. 
Jigglypuff got a uh, black and white costume, kind of like the Kirby one. And Donkey Kong got his Yellow Kong Golden Monkey Super Saiyan form. All right, some general things in the patch notes. We got the overall improved functionality of the single player menu. Uh, character select screen updates. There's a, a, a few things here. Um, obviously, it was expanded by three portraits with the addition of Sonic. There was a, a character select flash for variants. I, I never noticed that, but they fixed it. Good work. There are some updates to the character select screen menu panel. Man, that is, that's a tough one to say. There is now an option, this is really fun. There's now an option that allows the spawning and respawning with an item in your hand. Also, you can spawn an item with taunt and you can choose what item will spawn. Uh, in addition to some changes with taunt, you can also remap your taunt button. This is, this is a fun thing that people can do. In the past, some people have actually uh, opened up their controllers and resoldered and re like rewired to uh, make sure their taunt was a different button. But now you can just do it right here on the screen. And there's an update to shield colors. Uh, Yoshi's egg shield is now affected by shield color selection, which is a lot of fun. And it also affects Yoshi's thrown eggs, the intro, and when you use neutral special to lay an egg. Costume setting that matches shield color to current costume color. And there's a costume setting that restores vanilla shield colors. Another new thing with the character select screen menu panel is the addition of input display. So you no longer need uh, any sort of external tools to show your inputs. You can actually do it right there on the screen. And you can choose to have the input display show up at the top of the screen or at the bottom. If it's at the bottom, it will get covered up by the combo meter if the combo meter is on. So that's something to keep in mind. Remix credits were added to the staff role. So now when you beat the game and you watch the credits, there are also remix credits at the end. The credits, the debug screen, and intro to the game are now accessible in the settings menu. So you don't have to beat the game to see the credits. And if you wanna watch the intro, you can watch the intro again. Changes to heap space allocation to avoid crashes. I don't know what that means, but that's good. Avoiding crashes toggle added that allows salty run back to preserve song so if you want to run it back but you want to keep the song that's a toggle added toggle to fix a vanilla stereo bug i didn't know there was a vanilla stereo bug added menu music value off so you now can mute the menu while still keeping play music on added toggle which restores vanilla stock mode versus results screen if off okay so it's just the old regular results screen toggle added for skipping cheer noise at start of training so all the training mode warriors if you're doing a lot of resets and that kind of stuff you can just get into it that much faster invisibility improved for captain falcon and kirby's dk and pikachu hats i guess the invisibility wasn't great characters in giant and tiny forms now have altered weight attributes i didn't realize this wasn't a thing yet I guess it's just placebo. It just felt like the bigger one, like you were heavier when giant and you were lighter when tiny, but now it's a thing. Tournament stage selects updates. Now only includes legal stages for the Smash Remix Tour. Hazard and movement options are set for each stage and cannot be changed. Stage form is set for each stage and cannot be changed. Random stages in tournament mode updated for the Smash Remix Tour. Music and stage profiles updated and a new sawtooth instrument added. Now let's get into some of the updates to game modes. First, a whole new mode, Home Run Contest, has been added. You can play Home Run Contest with all the characters in the game and go for the high scores. It's just a whole nother layer of competition added to this game now. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I'm pretty excited to see what kind of combos and things people come up with to get the highest score. Stamina mode has been added to versus mode options. So when you go to the versus mode or the versus menu and you change from stock to time, you can also now change to stamina and adjust the amount of hit points you have. Added remix, break the targets and board the platforms. 
which allows the selection of any bonus stage for any character. So if you always wanted to play, you know, Captain Falcon's bonus stage as Fox, you can do that now. Remix 1P updates. Remix mode Kirby stage now has a random set of Remix character Kirby powers. There's so many Remix characters now that this is the only fair way to try and get them all into the Kirby team. Supersonic added as alternative boss in Remix one player mode. So it's not always Mad Piano uh, near the end there now. It can also be Supersonic. 12 character battle updates. Fixed reset bug for one stock battles. Fixed CSS UI issues with D-pad indicators. Fixed stock mode manual issues. Announcer sound changed. Z and R now cycle portraits while held. So you don't have to just mash Z and R. You can hold it down now to cycle through. Random portraits now obey random select with variance toggle. All-star difficulty adjustments. I don't remember if things were made harder or easier. I believe things were made a little bit easier. 1P congratulations image updated to add in Sonic. Fix the no damage clear bug in all-star mode. Fix glitch related to full power bonus in single player modes. Training mode updates. Added hold A to exit visual effect and text for training mode. So no more accidentally quitting out of training mode. You have hold to exit and there's a little meter where you can see how long you have to hold. I think it's like one second. Shield break mode now has additional options for action CPU will take out of shield. So there's there are things like nair out of shield, uh, different aerials, grab. It's not just jump. Disable D-pad menu navigation and training custom menu. You can now hold R and L to display results during versus mode results. Modified versus results screen scoring to better reflect time up outcome. A whole bunch of new stages got added this patch. Some of them Sonic, some of them not Sonic. First, we got Green Hill Zone. We got Subcon uh, Mario 2. Metallic Madness, which is a really cool stage. I love this one. Custom Hazard looks great. It's just so cool. Casino Night Zone added. This one's a lot of fun. Pirate Land added. All you Mario Party fans. You got Pirate Land. An another stage with a custom hazard. And this one is no joke. Mute City was completely revamped. Although they're now the older version of Mute City got converted into a Dreamland version. But the new version of Mute City uh, is much more like Mute City in later games with the road being a hazard, etc. Hyrule Castle got a remix version. Sector Z got a remix version. And Mushroom Kingdom got a remix version. Other stages, of course, Sonic Break the Targets and Sonic Board the Platforms. Corneria lasers now have sound. Uh, Rock Solid is a new music track and it replaces Soprano as Windy's rare art alternative track. Some unintended splash effects removed from Jungle Japes intro period. There you go, original Mute City has been revised, is now the Dreamland version of Mute City. Got that. There was a warping issue in Young Link's board the platforms and it is now fixed. So if you were using that to get a super fast time, can't do that anymore. Uh, Monkey Watch was added as an alternative track on the WarioWare stage. Skyloft got their single player spawns adjusted. Hyrule Temple got some graphic graphical updates. I feel like that's happened before, but I have a hard time keeping track of what's in tester patches and what's live. Wario Break the Targets got some graphical fixes along with Dark Samus Break the Targets, Falco, Young Link, Wario Board the Platforms, Wolf Board the Platforms, and that is it. So not as many changes as we've seen in some other patches. Not really any changes to characters aside from Bowser's uh, neutral B change. No other balance changes in this patch. 
We've got a bunch of new stages. We got Sonic. We got Super Sonic. We got Classic Sonic. We got a lot of new music. It's like 12 Sonic, 12, 13, 14 new Sonic music tracks added. But be sure to check those out. And new game modes with stamina and home run contest. So tons of fun. Love this game as always. It is truly incredible to see what these guys manage to put out every few months. It's it, it's just it's just crazy. I love it. I uh, hope y'all enjoy playing some Smash Remix. Make sure you go download it now, and I will catch you next time.